Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in everybody. Uh, let me switch my internet and see will it come in better right quick. Hold on. Okay, that's better. I guess it heard me say I was going to switch so it wanted to act right. Welcome, welcome everybody. Let me see who all we got in the house tonight. Welcome in, Jen. I'm here waiting, but getting supper fix first. Can't wait to see everyone. Yes. Hey, Kimmy Kim, how are you? Um, welcome in, Marsha Lee. What's up? What's up? I'm so excited for this. Hi, everybody in the chat. What's up? Hey, Mrs. Ivy. Let me just go on and switch it now because this wanting to. We'll see. Welcome in, Sis Liz. Welcome in. Welcome in. How's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> everybody speaking. Hey, Miss Donna G. Welcome in. Welcome in. Everybody speaking to everybody. Thank y'all so much. Welcome in, Tina Madden. Welcome in. I saw you over at Granny D's today. Welcome in, Ronell. Welcome in. Reeves was my surgeon's last name. Might be related. There's Bestie. Bestie, Bestie. Purple Crochet and More with Drini. Her name is actually Sandrine, Sandrine y'all. Roll Tide Roll, baby. Everybody's speaking to Tina. Hey, Maribel. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, Miss Vicky, I have my hooks, yarn, and some notebook paper on my clipboard to take notes and water in my cup. I'm, I am ready. Yes, because I am going to talk to y'all about how you take mosaic charts of anyone's and put them in a the round. So you'll be able to make your notes and have those to do. Everybody speaking. Welcome in, Miss Margaret. Welcome in. Hey, Samantha. Welcome in. Hi, Katrina. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, Mary. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Katrina says hello to each and every one of you in the chat. Welcome in, Gracie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ivy says, yes, ma'am. At Purple Crochet and More, we're dreaming a big roll, tad roll, hug to you. <laughs> welcome in miss jacqueline welcome in jen says hi dreamy everybody's speaking and there's the beautiful lovely kelly from kelly's crochet adventures y'all she does um wonderful lives on sundays at 6 45 eastern standard time where she does a craft online um and Tuesdays at 7.05 Eastern Standard Time, she's going live. And this Tuesday, Kelly, if I'm wrong, let me, let, let me know in the chat. But this Tuesday, y'all going to start the crochet along for the Count Your Blessings Shawl, correct? Marsha Lee says, I did all my housekeeping and I'm ready to chat and craft. I shared you out. I like all the work stuff is done. Yes. Hey, Lori. Welcome in, Lori. Got your pencil? Got your notebook because I'm going to tell you how you do mosaic in the round. And we're going to do this in the round. Welcome in, Kelly, with I Bring It Every Day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, Amy. You going to lurk? You don't feel too hot? Well, I hope you feel better, Amy. I'm so glad to be here. I'm glad you're here too, Kelly. I'll be at your house tomorrow. You're frozen, Jeannie, but I can see you. it. Well, let me go back to the other one. Let me switch internet, y'all. Let me see what that helped. Might have to refresh and come back in. 
Hey, Angela Wright, welcome in and everyone in the chat. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing fine today, drinking water and working on a knitting hat. Yes, Jen speaking to Gracie, Katrina, Samantha, Jacqueline, and Kelly. Speak, speak, speak. We will get started about 7 o'clock on this. It don't take long at all to make. Did y'all see what I posted on the community tab? This is it. Now, this top part we're not going to do tonight. This part. we're just. This is the actual graph pattern here. This is just something that I made up off the top of my head last night when putting this together. But we're going to do this a little bit different tonight. But it's all going to be the same. And I have my little downy uh, scent boosters in my little organza bag inside of it. And I keep sitting here smelling something that smells good. And I'm like, what is it? And I sniff myself. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's my little bag that I made. Yes, smells real good. You can put them in your cars, in your closets, in your dresser drawers in the bathroom, wherever, just sit them out in your room and you'll smell them. Welcome in, Miss Rhonda. Welcome in, Miss Rhonda with Creative Crochet. Welcome in. Welcome in, Miss Diane. Welcome in, Miss Lisa. Am I still frozen? Let me refresh. I should be better now. Now let me go back up to where I was in the chat. <laughs> am I, I, I am I better or am I worse? Welcome in, Miss Glenda. Welcome in. All right, now I can go down. Welcome in, Kivia. Welcome in. Welcome in, Sunita. Welcome in. Yes, count my blessings, child. Craft along tomorrow to honor the memory and legacy of Consuelo from Consuelo's Viola's daughter. Yes. So those that purchased the pattern um, that um, are won the pattern that we gave away for the Count Your Blessings, child, if y'all haven't started it and you would like to start it and do it as a crochet along, Kelly's Crochet Adventures will start that tomorrow at 7.05 Eastern Standard Time. Welcome in, Miss Donna with Nana's Crafty Corner. Um, welcome in, Granny D. How are you, honey? Picture is very fuzzy. Ugh. I will be back, y'all. Let me take it up here and see will it come in any better. All right, is that better? Let me take it off my phone and let me connect to the other one on my phone. For some reason, one of them works better when it's further away from the device. So I'll connect to the other internet from my phone. All right, let me get caught back up. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got that I missed? All right, there. I was on Miss Diane. 
Granny D says, we'll be in prayer for you, sweet Mama Sandrine. Yes. And uh, Samantha Stewart also would like someone to pray for her. Well, not someone. Us to pray for her. Is it better now? Welcome in, Ms. Hooked by Suze. Welcome in. Welcome in, Sis V. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, Miss Debbie. Okay, Miss Debbie, hope you get to feeling better. Lord, somebody got me on the Roku, y'all. I finally finished in February and starting on March chart. Three pattern rows to go, then I will be caught up. Woohoo! Yes. Much better. Good, 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 good. I took it back up front. Welcome in, Ms. ZJ. Paper check, pen check, stitch markers check. I couldn't find my notion spout with my stitch markers earlier. Well, we're not going to need no stitch markers. Just found the notions pouch and the stitch markers had been sitting on the table next to me on the other side of my big cup. Look, y'all. I do that same thing. And Ms. Debbie says she wants to dance. She wants to dance, even though she's not feeling good, so... Let's dance, y'all. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is your name. It is going into the bucket. We will be drawing from that tonight, so... This is my bucket. I will just leave it open so I can just put people's in there. I'm sorry, not saying much right now. I had a rough couple of days. I went and spilled coffee on my laptop and now stuck trying to migrate to the new one with Windows 11. It's a learning curve. Oh, Ron, I can imagine. And that's mine keeps wanting me to update to 11, but I keep refusing it and staying with 10. Welcome in, Cozy Dozy Duds. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're new here. Where are you from? What's in y'all's cup and what is on y'all's hook? Well, hopefully what we're going to do tonight will be on your hook. Jenny, this is the best picture I've seen. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, it's, on, it's only going to get better. Just waiting on my uh, power company to uh, get that internet out here. And then I'm going to have fiber optic. We won't have to worry about this stuff no more. <laughs> oh, Kelly said, let her get in the bucket, y'all, and let's dance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, and this is your name. And it's going in the bucket. Right there. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kelly. Everybody's saying hi to Cozy Dozy Duds. Yes, welcome her in. So glad you are here. And my chat just jumped. Wow. Sandrine's got water and mosaic blanket. Are you starting on July already? Welcome in, Bella. Welcome in. Lord, this thing jumped a lot. Let me go back up. Urgh. I started July this morning. Almost done. Laugh out loud because I'm going to be ready for August tonight. <laughs> Wow. Yes, Miss Debbie. Bye. She says, bye, everyone. Love and prayers for y'all. We'll be praying for you that you feel better as well as your daughter. Welcome in, Laura's Block Ministry. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Granny D says, love you lots. Kisses. I love you too, Granny D. This is for you. Let's dance, y'all. Yay! Thank you, thank 
Daisy, thank you. I'm shaking your name on the sticker too. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. All right. Cozy Dozy says she's from Illinois and crochets crocheting a baptism set. I bet that is going to be beautiful. Are you using regular yarn or are you using crochet thread? Hmm. Watching and lurking. That is fine. Watch and lurk, honey. Watch and lurk. Samantha, if you're not in blue, you can just put CC in the chat and someone will drop your link, sweetie. One of my wonderful, amazing mods will take care of it. Yes, rest well. Everybody's speaking. Jen has dropped her link. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Nightbot seems to be working. Look, Sandrine says, dancing with the crafters. Dancing with the crafters. She said, let's dance, y'all. Yay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you are. <clears throat> and in the bucket you went. Welcome in, Queen. Welcome in. And thank you so very much for all that lovely, wonderful information you shared with us the other night about pirate ship. Really, really, really do appreciate it. And Cozy Dozy Dud says she's using a size two. Way to go. Kelly would like her link dropped. Kivia would like her link dropped if someone could do that. It's looking really nice, Mama D. It's a deep burgundy. Liz, from a little bit of everything, is from Illinois, too. Sunita, that is in the chat also, is from Illinois. We got quite a bit of Illinois in the house. Grandy says, Kim, I'm sure it will look so nice on you. And Sis V said, let's dance some more. And this is Sunita, y'all. She is also from Illinois. So let's dance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Thank you, Sis B. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in, Tank. Welcome in. Yes, I will be trying it out after tonight, um, Pirate Ship, because I will be drawing the winner for the Super Chats tonight, so I'll have something to ship tomorrow, um, and I will be using it and trying it out and see how it works all together. Welcome in, Beba Designs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I'm all caught up on the chat. I did post to my community tab early this morning. <laughs> that was up till 3 a.m. Not per se working on this. I'd actually went to bed and I said, oops, let me get up, take a picture, and put this in there. Sandrine, you're not in purple. I mean, you're not in blue. Yeah, you in blue. I mean purple. Oh, you just don't want to drop your own link. Do um bestie. Do your links. Everything should be working. Now I have not updated Nightbot to reflect my new members, which is Miss Donna Craig and Tiffany, but I will do that and um it'll be shown in uh on Saturday's live. But yes, Ms. Donna Craig and Tiffany, if you would like your link drop, just put CC in the chat and we will we will drop. I know V purple, not blue. 
Uh uh, it's yeah, blue dress. Blue dress. I was doing right, wasn't I? And Miss Ronell said, Let's dance. Woo! We finna dance some more, y'all. Gotta get our blood pumping before we do this uh this uh craft, don't we? Yes, let's dance. There you go. In the bucket. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, we, I don't, um, I can't sing like Kelly and all the rest of them can, so I don't have a song. So Veronica made me a video. <laughs> and Ms. VJ, you are absolutely right. I did tank. Um, what you mean? Did I fix you? Yes, you're in, you're in there. Um, Uh, welcome in, Noni May. Welcome in, Noni May. Granny B, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. All right, Miss Donna, you'll be right back. All right. And a little bit says she tells her husband she works out when crocheting. <laughs> and Tank said, let's keep on dancing, y'all. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Pooh. Going in the bucket. Now, all the names that are already in this bucket is the ones from last week as well. So, we'll do the drawing tonight. And then um, we'll do another one the last Monday of the month. So, <clears throat> welcome in, Miss Carol. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing so far on their scenic beauty mosaic blanket? Ms. VJ, you're right, Ms. VJ. YouTube will frown up if you drop your own link. They will, they will frown up on that. Um, and I hear a lot of people telling others to drop their links and stuff like that, but you do have a command. You should have a command. And if anyone, I've sent it to most of the moderators, but if any of the other moderators that do not have my command list would like the command list, please let me know. And I will um, get those um, commands over to you. Tiffany, you will be added to my command list as well as Ms. Donna Craig. Um, if I have not done that already, y'all. My mind is so short nowadays. I tell you what. Welcome in, Jennifer. I've been missing you. Welcome in, Dinky Crafts, Jennifer. Get that glitter shaking. Shake, 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 shake. That ain't the only thing shaking either. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo! Y'all actually be dancing. Y'all just can't see me, can you? Can y'all actually see me dancing? <clears throat> 39 thumbs and 44 here. Y'all better hit them. them pull one of V on you. You better hit them thummy thummies. Hit them thummy thummies. Kim, you do have a command. Um... You do, you do, you do, you do. Yours is Kim, exclamation mark Kim. 
Miss Donna G says she's working on her mosaic tonight. Almost done with June. Wow, and I ain't even started March. I better get on the ball, hadn't I? My, Noni May says she wants some pickles. Are you pregnant, Noni? <laughs> Miss Carol says, I've been working on mine the last three days. I was discouraged for a bit, but a friend of mine helped me get back to it. My husband, Dave, is listening in. Can you give him a shout out? Hey, Mr. Dave. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Woo! We welcome all y'all. Everybody in the chat, tell Mr. Dave hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yay. The more the merrier. Everybody's speaking. There goes another one from Illinois. It's Illinois, not Illinois. <laughs> Sandrine, you know I did that for you, baby. <laughs> welcome in, Michael. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Michael is her name is Boho Hooker Crochet. And she's another one from Illinois. Oh, you're welcome, Kimmy Kim. Yeah, whether you're here or not, mods drop y'all's links and everything. So there goes the beautiful Miss Beverly Lee creates y'all, Miss Bevy. And I know what she wants me to say. Buttermilk cornbread. <laughs> Kim says, thank Holly. Thanks, everyone. Holy, thanks, everyone. Welcome in, Miss Rose. We're going to make this mosaic sachet pouch tonight. Everybody's saying, hey, Mr. Dave. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Miss Rose, are you related to Chris Benoit, the wrestler? I've been wanting to ask that question. Noni is expecting she's wanting them pickles, Kelly, so she might be. Sandrine says, whatever, Jeannie. <laughs> Not from Illinois. <laughs> it's Illinois. You don't say the S. Are you the only Canadian here? No, ma'am. Miss Rose Crawford is from Cana uh, Canada. Uh, Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits is from Canada. Um, Katrina from Katrina's Crochet and More is from Canada, if Katrina is still here. Um, Katrina's Crochet World. I said Katrina's Crochet and More. Katrina's Crochet World is from Canada. Um... Welcome in, Classy Kim. Classy Kim, welcome in. Yes, this will be available for the live after the live. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So I decided to do mine in cotton. Now y'all can do it in acrylic if you would like to. That is perfectly fine. Um, but I like the way the mainstays cotton turned out. It's really, really soft. But I did use a uh, 4.5 millimeter hook and a 3.5 millimeter hook to do my um my chain that I fed through it. So, but yes, in the inside of it, I have already put some of the downy uh, scent boosters inside of it, right here. The romantic and um. If I take these out, this smells like it. Amy's from Illinois. Welcome in, Miss Donna Craig. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes. And you can draw it closed if you want to. Now, I'll show you how to do a strap on it tonight where you can put it around the um, clothes hanger and hang in your closet. Um, you can put, like I said, you can put these in your cars. You can put them in your um, 
Yes, G hook is a four point five. Some of them, some of them are four point oh's too. G is one of those hooks that have multiple sizes. Four point five is usually labeled a seven, and y'all ain't gonna be able to see that. You'll see it when I get underneath the other camera. But yes, this is um. Uh, you can put them in your cars. You can put them in your um, bathrooms, wherever you want to put them. And then when it stops losing its freshness, you can always add more. Um, maybe put these in a pot and boil them to get the last little bit out of it. To smell your house. You can even put them underneath some chair cushions. And when you sit down, that's what you smell. But yeah, I've been sitting here all day today wondering, what is that smell? Did I put deodorant on today? <laughs> That's close, Amy. I didn't know it takes me about four hours to get to Chicago. Wow. See, y'all y'all up there close together. Y'all should be meeting up and doing some crochet alongs together. <clears throat> so, all right, it's 704. Um, if you have one of these, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine because you can put your stuff straight into this little bag and they won't fall out. Okay, Amy. Yeah. Um, I will work on those commands tomorrow. And I will get them sent out to... If I make any changes, then I'll send the only the updated ones to the... Um, to the ones that already have them. Right, you have to... It's exclamation with no space. And then the name. I had to put some lotion on, y'all. Hey, Mama J. Welcome in. Did I miss you or you just came in and said that? <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, yes, yes. You can put them in your suitcases when you're not using them. Definitely, you could throw one in your suitcase when you're traveling. You can also buy the little, um, the little, uh, I always had got mine from Kirkland's because Kirkland's has some that smell really, really good. The little, um, bags with the little powder stuff in them. You could also get those. <clears throat> M to the O to the B to the S. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, VJ. I sure will. What I'll probably do is just put them all on another sheet and then just email them to everybody all over again. Grandy says, howdy do, all. Howdy. And yes, you have to let time lapse between dropping the same link or it will not work. Um, if Jen Reeves drops Kim's link now, you have to wait so many seconds before it will drop again. So if Jen drops it and then somebody else comes right behind her and drops the same command, one of y'all's is not going to drop. Doesn't mean it's not working. They have time limits of how often they could be dropped. Not Sunday, but Saturday. Yeah, Sandrine goes live on Saturdays, normally after the Yarny Fiber Sisters go live. Yes. All right, I'm going to share my other camera. Y'all see all that mess? Nope, y'all don't, do you? Not yet, anyway. Now y'all see it. Welcome in, Fish Ranch House. Y'all, I want to. I want y'all to know he has reached his 1K. And I watched your video where you added some extra hiding spaces for your fish in that 55-gallon aquarium. I'm going to have to not tell my husband about your channel or he's going to want an aquarium and it's going to be left up to me to clean. <laughs> welcome in, Miss CJ. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If I missed you, I do apologize. She says, hey, BB Boo. Hey, Kiwi. I do have it on slow mode, so hopefully that will work. 
Yes, congratulations, Fish Ranch. So glad you you were able to reach your goal. And Mama J, speaking to everybody, welcome in, Colleen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I think we can get started. Let me put these pom-poms to the side. Y'all will still be able to see me. I'm just going to turn my laptop a little bit this way. Hope I don't knock it off. <laughs> I'm going to add this one to the stream. And I'm going to switch places with it. There we go. All right. <clears throat> oh, and you will need two beads if you want to put the little tassels on it like I did. You will need two beads. And I will show y'all how to do that. I know a lot of people are afraid of tassels. But Day's Crochet shows you a real simple, easy way to do tassels. So the technique that I will be showing y'all how to do tonight will be from Day's Crochet. And can y'all see that okay? Or is it too dark? Is that too dark? Welcome in, Natural Nadine 61. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me let me go let me go out and pull that camera up by itself and um adjust the lighting on it. All right, that should be a lot better now. Come on, switch. There we go. Now that's better. <clears throat> All right. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit different of a pattern than what we did last week. This says W-A-A-L-A-R-T dot N-L on it. So y'all saw where I got it from off Pinterest. So this right here normally indicates your border stitch right here. Now to work mosaic in the round, this is where you need to write your notes down and, and keep up with it. And this came strictly from Tenna. When working in the round, you only go by whatever the number is for your repeat rows. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit further. Let me go and do that now. There we go. So anytime you see a pattern like this and you see this real dark line running up the middle, that means this is your repeat right here. So with this one, if you wanted to do the chevron in the round, because that's basically what it is, is a chevron stitch. You don't worry about this from this line back this way. You just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 stitches that would make up the repeat. So when you get ready to work in the round with mosaic, that's the only number that you are concerned with 
is how many stitches does it take to do one completion of the design? Do not count your border stitches. So it's from here to here. So it would be multiples of 12 that you would do. Then you would chain. Now, Tina does the chain, does her single crochets back down and then join, which I do that same thing too. It's just easier. And then at the end, I fix the other side that's not the other little end down there that's not connected, which is what we will be doing tonight as well. So we're going to work in multiples of 12. That is it. But we do need to add one for our turning chain, just one. Now, if you do the single crochet foundationless row where you make your single crochets as you go, you would do them in multiples of 12 only. Welcome in, Aisha. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I do have my computer where I can see my hands on the laptop as well as um, the chat. So, I think we'll be good. And I do have slow mode on. Now, <clears throat> usually when working with mosaic, you normally just find two colors. And pick your colors, and that's what you do them in. Let me get a ruler. Now, we're not going to start out with this row at first. We're going to do some single crochet rows before we actually start the graph. Using our four point, well, I'm using a 4.5. Now, this is not going to show up. It's a size 7, 4.5. Some may say G, 4.5. The Gs is the ones that have the 4, the 4.25, the 4.5s. Some of them have numbers. This one says a 7. This is the clover. Okay, so I made this one starting out in blue. Right here. So, I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to do brown. I'm going to reverse the colors in this one. So, I'm going to start with the brown tonight. And make sure to leave you a good little length of a tail at the bottom because you will use that to fix the other end of your join where we join it together. God, these are just glue on nails, honey. I don't go get my nails done. <laughs> <laughs> These wild green nails. <laughs> you can, Miss Beverly, pick whatever color you want to. You're scared. Oh, honey, don't be scared. This is easy. And one good thing about it is you will not be cutting your yarn at the end of every row. And are, am I clear? Because I did set the um the focus to be fixed. When it was up high. Do I need to go out and refocus? Let me know. And I can definitely do that right quick. I'm good. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to start out with multiples of 12. And we're going to chain 36. One. Y'all know how to chain, right? Okay, so I have my 36 chains. Now what that is going what what that tells me is I will be able to repeat this chevron design three times. And if I look at the one I made, that is exactly what I have. Let me take this sachet bag out and show y'all what I mean by repeat. So this is one. This is two. And this is three. 
So 36 will give you three. It looks like a chevron to me, so I call it the chevron design. It will give you three designs. Now, if you wanted more, then you would definitely do more. And I've already came out with another idea to do with mosaic, and we'll do that. I said I was going to take an off week next week, but when this idea hit my brain, I'm like, nah, we'll do that too. Hey, Michael Bruning, welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad to see you back in the YouTube streets. I see you have a new video out. I got to go watch it about your art supplies. Um, but yeah, we're going to make the, what we're going to do next Monday. I might not use the same stitch here. I might use a different pattern just so we get, you know, different ones. We're going to do a cell phone holder. Had that, I'm telling you, it just, yeah. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to do about four rows of single crochet before we do the actual design. We're probably going to do about six rows. So we can put the design directly in the middle and then we'll have the top. Jen says a week off. Nah. <laughs> no, I would be here, but we just wouldn't be doing a craft. But we're actually going to do a craft next Monday. And we'll do the um the cell phone holder. So after you chain 36, add one to it. And in the second chain from the hook, work one single crochet all the way to the end then we will join to make our circle Lori are you still here <clears throat> I know you've been wanting to learn how to do mosaic in the round um, I was going to work this as a flat panel and then put it together by sewing it. And I said, nope, let me do it in a round so I could show Lori how to um, work it, work mosaic in a round. And you can take any mosaic pattern and put it in the round. As long as you do this technique that we will be doing tonight and... Um, this is the, the technique for this chain closing and how you join and all that stuff. That is strictly from Tenna. Uh, Samantha, I'm using a 4.5 because I wanted my stitches to be kind of tight. Since we're making a sachet bag and you could put stuff in it and you don't want it falling out. Y'all, I really like this Mainstays cotton. It's, it's so much like I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. Okay. Now, once you get your last single crochet done, just turn it over and bring this side up to your hook. Insert Make sure it stays on the hook, though. And <laughs> don't fall off like mine did. Insert it underneath both loops of that first single crochet. Just like that. Leave this yarn connected. This yarn connected. And get your other color. Now, this, is, this right here is the important part on doing um, the mosaic in the round lay your other yarn on top of your hook and pull it through and join with a slip stitch now Tina says what you do is you pull that uh, the first color that we use you pull it tight she said tight <laughs> then we're going to chain one and just kind of rub your hook back and forth to tighten it up. 
Can y'all see that? Let me go up just a little bit so I have just a little bit more room. There we go. We're not working in the graph right now. Now, we're going to go right here in the back bump of every single crochet and work one single crochet in the back loop only. We're not working a border stitch. Just work one single crochet in the back loop only of every single crochet around and it's going to curl up on you like it's wanting to turn the opposite direction but we can flip it back out when we get to the end there is no cutting of your yarn in working mosaic in the round you just join as you go and everything that you do will be on the inside so one single crochet in the back loop only around and when we get to the end we'll do the we'll join with our we'll join back up with our brown but I will show you where it needs to go and like Tina said, this is, the join is what's important because it keeps your, and she said the tighter your join, the better. Um, it keeps your pattern uniformed. Now, if you wanted to make yours bigger, most definitely make it bigger. And when y'all get to the last stitch, let me know. Let, give me a thumbs up when you make it to the last single, where you are left with one single crochet. Samantha, are you asking where I'm from? I'm from originally born and raised in Louisiana, but I live in Alabama. I've been in Alabama 25 years. Six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. They call Louisiana Lower Alabama, so. Back loop, Ronell. Back loop. One single crochet in the back loop only. And I think I did say back bump. I'm sorry. You could also take any mosaic pattern, do it like this, and create covers for notion bags without having to start at the zipper. We'll do that one night, too. <laughs> we're just going to be crafting aren't we crafting 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 I do have some notion bags that I can use hey Paula welcome in watching and learning thanks Jeannie you're so very welcome hold on Ms. VJ you do chain one, but you're not going to work in the stitch that you join with. That's the key. Ivy's gave me a thumbs up. Anybody else made it to just their last single crochet? Oh, sorry to hear that, Miss Vicky. I hope you start feeling better. I do understand that neuropathy, honey. I'm just glad you're here. I'm drinking coffee. Jen says thumbs up. <laughs> Marsha Lee said listening and learning also. I got water too. Okay, Lori, this should help you if you're struggling to join and switch colors on the first row. You just 
the, the way I'm finna join here will be the same way you would do it on the first row. So I'm here to my last single crochet. If you can see right here is my last single crochet. This is my slip stitch where I joined right here. We're not going to work in that. This is my chain one where I started the second row. Let me see if my big long needle. Here it is. Here is my big mammoth. This is my last single crochet that I have to do right here. Can y'all see that? Hey, Dusty Cat, welcome in. And then you have this stitch here that is our slip stitch from, the, from where we joined. This is our chain one. right here so we're going to work one last single crochet in the back bump of the last single crochet from the previous row right there this chain one that we have right here we're going to grab it in the back loop only the back stitch right there just like that we're going to pull this blue tight and hold it. We're going to grab our brown yarn and we're going to join with a slip stitch just like that. Now when you do that the blue tends to loosen up some so you have to pull it kind of tight. Then you're going to chain one and just kind of pull it and shake your hook a little bit to make it a little bit tighter. And we're going to do the same thing again. One single crochet in the back loop only of every single crochet around. So the one we join in, we're not doing nothing in. Because if we add a stitch there, then we're increasing. So we're going to go to this one right here. And we're going to work in the back loop only. And you're going to do that all the way around. In the back loop only, one single crochet. <laughs> Hey, Nisi, welcome in. I think I saw Spring come in too. Spring, welcome in. How are you doing? Are you feeling better? So, one single crochet in the back loop only. And I'm at my last one, so I'll give y'all time to get caught up. And don't worry about this. I know it looks funny, but we're going to put that together at the end. Let me check something right quick.
Try it now, Sandrine. And y'all don't forget, we have the, um, we have the mystery yarn box for you, mystery yarn box for me giveaway going on. If you drop exclamation mystery, I mean playlist, if you drop exclamation playlist, it will pull up all of the channels that are participating in it. For those that don't know, um, go over and watch those videos and enter for your chance to win All right, I just added Tiffany to StreamYard too, and um, hers is exclamation Tiffany, and uh, Maribel also has a link uh, command. It's exclamation Maribel. My chair got hung up on my rug, y'all. All right, y'all made it to the last one single crochet left. Hey, Elizabeth, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jen said, well, that sounds wonderful. Some good progress. <laughs> so, again, you can see here, this is my last single crochet. This is my slip stitch wire joined with the blue. And this is my chain one with my brown right here. So I'm going to work one single crochet in the back loop of my last single crochet from the row below. I'm going to hook that back loop of that chain one. Pull the brown tight. Grab my blue yarn. And slip stitch. Just like that. Then I'm going to pull the brown a little bit tighter. Thank you. Good now, girl. <laughs> hey, Lydia. Welcome in. I'm going to chain one and kind of pull it tight, just like that. And we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop of every single crochet around. Just like this. Hey, Miss Cynthia, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Carla Blackman, welcome in. Sandrine, I don't think Lydia has a, I don't know if I, Lydia, I don't know if I put Lydia in yet. I'll have to check that and see. Well, you got the list, so if it's on there, then yeah, she does. I have to pull my email up where I sent everything to y'all and see who I need to add and who I don't need to add. Sis V says, y'all don't forget the thumbs up. Yep. 
All right, I'm at my last single crochet. I'll give y'all time to get caught up. And we're going to do two more rows. And then after those two rows, we will start our graph. Everybody saying, hey, sweet Elizabeth. Yes, sweet, sweet, sweet. I don't do video yet. I need to do it. It don't matter, Lydia. We can still get you to your community tab. I'll add you to it, though. <clears throat> While I wait on them, I can do that right quick. And because I'm adding them real fast, y'all, I will go back and I can always go back and add little words and stuff to it. Like Tank, I'll probably end up changing hers to Tanky Poo. All right, Sandrine, Lydia has one now. Oh, she's going to go to my YouTube. On my phone. Michael, that is wonderful. Do y'all see that? And Michael, if I'm not mistaken, you're in Arizona. He said, I am happy that I am here. I studied so hard today to prepare for a quiz Wednesday at Elizabeth. But he also said he was making blue hats since his school is now. And that message must be way up there. I just seen it on my phone. Um, his school is now a drop-off point for blue hats, for hats not hate. Uh, Samantha, we will be... V, where are we this Saturday? Are we in Alabama or are we in Georgia? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, my brain is... Whew. But he said their school is now a drop-off point for Hats Not Hate. And Michael, if I'm not mistaken, you're in Arizona, correct? Arizona or New Mexico? I can tell you now. If I sent you something, I got your address. I can tell you what state you're in. I can tell you address. <laughs> New Mexico. He is in New Mexico. So we're in Georgia, Samantha. Yeah, New Mexico. Uh, Michael is in New Mexico. So for all of those that are in New Mexico that would like to make hats not hate, Michael, if you want to put the name of your school in the, in the comments so everybody will know, their school is now a drop-off location for blue hats. So you can make them and ship them there, or you can take them and drop them off. And what that means is different locations are accepting blue hats for Lime Brand. Sandrine said, while y'all learning, I'll drop the links. She, I guess she got this mosaic down pat by now. <laughs> All right. 
we're going to work one single crochet in the last single crochet right here in the back loop only. We're going to skip, which you barely can see because I tightened that up real tight. That's our slip stitch. This is our chain one. We're going to go in the back loop of our chain one. We're going to pick up our brown or your other color and we're going to slip stitch and see how nice and neat that's keeping the join and that's what Tina was saying on her channel you you want that join to where you barely can tell that it's a join there that way these stay connected see your pattern stays connected with each other like here and here it's also like that here and here because this was my join right there. So I'm going to pull the blue tight. Pull that brown tight. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to pull it just a little bit tighter. And we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of every single crochet around. And we're going to do this for one. The blue will be the last single crochet row that we do. Once we get through with this brown row. So you see there's no cutting your yarn. There's no ends to worry about. Except for the one that you start with. And the one that you end with. Okay, Veronica. Elizabeth says, Sandrine, I hope you're feeling well, sweetie. I think she's feeling better, Mama Rias. You will see Sandrine drop a link of blessing. That is the link to Count Your Blessing Shawl that was designed and created by Ursula at OM Granny Square. We are going to be making that. And um, we will also be doing a giveaway for those that make it and submit pictures. Um, of it as well. So... We're doing it in honor and memory of Consuelo. And Kelly from Kelly's Crochet Adventures is actually starting to crochet along with it tomorrow. So I've done my last single crochet. Now, I'm going to skip this slip stitch right here in the blue. And I'm going to go into the back loop of my chain one. Pull that tight. Grab my blue yarn. And slip stitch. And then I'm going to pull the brown just a little bit tighter. And I'm going to chain one. And make that a little bit tighter. And I'm going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of every single crochet around. Yarn wants to constantly slip off the hook. Now 
is my last single crochet. I'm going to work one in it. We're going to skip the slip stitch there and we're going to go into that back loop right here of that chain one. Right there. And we will connect with our brown and I will give y'all time to get caught up. So we have done one, two, three, four, five, six rows of single crochets. Now we're fixing to start the pattern. Ms. Vicky says, send in prayer, Sandrine, to you and your mom, gorgeous, fast recovery. Kelly is going to be doing the uh, count your blessing child crochet along, Elizabeth. Um, she'll just have people on the panel and if they want to um, if they want to um, come up on the panel and crochet the count your blessing shawl with her then they can oh that's good Michael Ronell how Lori, me and you might have to do some one-on-one -on -one with um, Facebook or something, which I don't mind doing now. I, I do not mind doing it all. Because I know you are really, really wanting to do mosaic in the round. Good night, Spring. I hope you're feeling better. That's fine, Elizabeth. You probably got home from work and took a nap, didn't you? <laughs> And Samaya said, this join has got me feeling like a new crocheter. I'm going to have to watch the replay. Till then, I'm doing it my way, LOL. Hey, as long as your way works. <laughs> yep, as long as yours works. Now we're going to join with our brown. Pull that blue a little bit tighter. Chain one. Now we're working from the graph. And we're going to start out with a double crochet in the front loop two rows below. Always remember your double crochets are worked in the same color of the yarn that you're working with in two rows below. So we're going to wrap our yarn and this will be our first front loop right here. Not this over here, but this right here. That will be our first front loop right there and work, insert your hook underneath it. And work a double crochet. Then we're going to work one single crochet. In the back loop only. And then we will work two double crochets. In the front loop below. So that is one. That is two. Then we're going to work one, two, three single crochets 
all in the back loop only. So do one, two, and three. Then we're going to work two sing, uh, double crochets. So that's in the front loop right there. So that is one and two. Just like that. Then we're going to single crochet one in the back loop only. In the next stitch. Now this is what I do. I know this ends my repeat right here. So I go one, two, and come back here and three. So I'm fixing to do three double crochets over the next stitches. It'll get better, Mama Riz. It takes time, though. So this is one, two, and three. Then we're going to do one single crochet. Two doubles. So we're just repeating that repeat. Which is from here. Which most of them will have this on there. And they'll have repeat this part in there. So this is the part that we're repeating. Yes, we love you, Elizabeth. And then we're going to do three singles. One, two, and three. If I say we're going to do three singles, all singles are worked in the back loop only. Then we're going to do two doubles. We're going to do one single and three doubles. Then we're going to do one single, two doubles. three singles two doubles one single and we will only do two doubles to finish it off So one and two. Now again, this is our slip stitch. You see this little stitch right here? This one right here. Right there. You could put a stitch marker there to know that that is your chain one. You definitely could do that. Or you could put a stitch marker in the top of your first stitch and know that this is the stitch that I have to join in right here. Or you could just do this. And put a, a stitch marker in that chain one. And know that that is your stitch. Hey, Ola Joe, welcome in. That that's the stitch that you have to join into. So we're going to grab that back loop of that chain one. Drop our brown. Pick up our blue. And slip stitch. Just like that. 
and pull that brown a little bit tighter <clears throat> chain one and now we're moving to row two which these are not numbered but that's row two And we're going to work all single crochets. So row two is all singles. So this is my first stitch from the row before. So in the back loop only, I'm going to work one single crochet. Now you can put a stitch marker right there. See, this is my first single crochet. This is my chain one. Now, you could put a stitch marker there to mark where you need to join when you come back around. And continue working around with one single crochet in the back loop only of every chain, every stitch. Tank said we need to take a break and dance, y'all. <laughs> Get to you in just a minute, Tank. All right, see, I'm here to my last stitch. This is my last one. My last single crochet right here. Now I'm gonna, my stitch marker's there. That lets me know I need to work in that loop right there. So I'm going to slip stitch into the back, insert my hook into that back loop only of that one. Pull that blue tight. Now I'm going to grab my brown and slip stitch to join. And pull the blue and chain one. And now I'm ready for row three whenever y'all are ready. And Tank did a super chat. So we're going to dance, y'all. This is for you, Tank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sandrine dropping them links. Somebody said, hey, Ashley. Did I miss somebody? Liz says, dance, dance, dance. Oh. That's you, Tank. Going in the bucket. And we'll do that at the end. Ooh. Ashley is mobs, yeah. Her and um, sunflower crochet and stuff is Ashley, too. It just threw me off with her saying, hi, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> I was making sure Sunflower hadn't came in.
Tank, I'll email all of them to you tomorrow. Sandrine says she have her dancing shoes on. <laughs> all right, I can pull this down some. And that is row three that we're fixing to start. And you can see with row three, we're going to start out with a single. Then we're going to do two doubles, a single, three doubles, a single, and two doubles. And then, and Mama Maria said she want to dance too, y'all. This for you, Mama Maria. Thank you and thank both. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I got actually got one one set of pom poms stuck in my finger. <laughs> I said, I hope I can get it off. And we will be doing this drawing tonight. That's for you, Elizabeth. Sweet, sweet Elizabeth. Aisha said, let's just dance a little bit more. This is for you. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, Queen. The X means you double crochet and just the rule of thumb. Anytime you're working with mosaic and you have a box that does not have any kind of symbol in it, whether it's a colored box or not, it does not matter. Those indicate all single crochets. And in mosaic, in the round, all singles are done in the back loop only. You do not have border stitches in working in mosaic in the round, which is what we're doing tonight. Now, if we was working this as a blanket, then you would have done multiples of 12 plus your two border stitches plus your one extra stitch for your turning chain. But because we're not working it flat and we're working in the round, you do not include your border stitches. You only do your multiples that it requires to do the repeat. And you add one at the end for your turning chain only. That is it. And um, all doubles are worked indicated by the X's. And their work in this row below in the front loop. Now, I have heard some people that do mosaic say that doubles do not go on top of doubles. They do. It just depends on the person who creates the chart. Because you can see here, this double will be worked in this double in the front loop. This double will be worked into the top of a single in the front loop. So you can have doubles that work that are worked on top of each other. So and it's is just like this double is worked here in the top of this double. Two rows below right there. This double would be worked in the top of a single crochet, which is this. But it's always in the front loops right here. Those are your front loops. Even on your doubles, you still have that front loop because you're working your single crochets in the back loop of them. So...
Welcome back, Samantha. So we're going to start row three, and we're going to start with a single crochet. Now, where you join at, you're not working a stitch there, period. This is our next stitch right here. So we're going to work in that back loop, and we're going to work one single crochet. Then we're going to work two doubles. So here we go. This first double is worked in the top of a single crochet right here. So we're going to pull that loop up and work our double. The next double is worked in the top of a double. So we're going to work a double crochet in it. And that's how it is. And then we're going to work one single crochet. And we're going to work three doubles. So one. two and three so one thing that you could do on all your charts is you could write single crochets equals back loop only that's what blow means blo and all double crochets are worked front loop only two rows below that's how I abbreviate. A lot of them, some of them do double crochet in the front loop, front loop double crochet. You might see it abbreviated like that. But it's always two rows below the row that you just finished and then the next row. So we've done our one single, our two doubles, one single, our three doubles. Now we're going to do one single. And two doubles. Here's one in the top. And here's one in the single. I'm going to grab the wrong one. And that's another thing. Make sure that you don't. Like these are the doubles here. And it can kind of twist and get you off track. You, if it's over that way. You might think you need to work in this one. You don't work in the ones behind your doubles. This is the next stitch right here. So I've done two. Now we're going to work one, two, three singles. So one, two, three, two doubles, one, two, one single. three doubles one single two doubles three singles two doubles one single three doubles one single two doubles and we will end with two singles we started with one single and we're ending with two, which would give us three. One, two, and three. So again, this is my slip stitch in the blue. This is my chain one. This is my single crochet. So in that little small stitch of that chain one, I'm going to join in that back loop only. Pull that brown tight. And I'm going to join with my blue. Just like that. Chain one. And tighten it up. 
just like that and if you turn it over on the front side this is what it's looking like and then we'll be moving to row four is everybody caught up with me I'm still here. Y'all ain't went nowhere. Hotla Joe said, it's quiet as a church mouse up in here, folks. Concentrate. <laughs> Tank, what question you got for me? Aisha says, she's still here watching. <laughs> Nightbot, why are you still running that? I took you out. Nightbot be doing what it want to do, y'all. Well, you ain't got to worry about that one popping up no more. I just deleted his tail. Ah. <laughs> I... I think I've never used the two back loops. I'll have to try that and see. I mean, this is pretty tight. Well, that's because I'm using a smaller hook, too. Welcome in, Miss Gloria Bowman, Miss Glow's Crochet Creations. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And if y'all have any Anytime y'all need help with anything, we can always Facebook or I can do a StreamYard and send you the link and you can connect to me through StreamYard. Um, oh, Lisa, that's okay. We can do Facebook, We any of that. I do not mind helping y'all at all. Miss Gloria, that's fine. It's okay. Ronell probably going to be sending me a picture here in a little bit <laughs> alright moving on to row number 4 we're going to start with a double this is an easy row then we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 singles and when I have a pattern that does that I'll write it out there and to the side and circle it so I don't have to keep counting. Nine singles, one double, one single, and then one double. So we're going to start with a double. And that's going to be right here in this first front loop of that blue right there. So wrap your yarn and go underneath it and work a double. And when y'all make this, you know to send me pictures. And then we're going to work nine single crochets, back loop only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to work a double. a single, a double, and now we're going to repeat nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, and nine. One double, one single, one double, and now we're going to repeat nine singles. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to work one double and one single in that last stitch and that is our slip stitch join so we're not doing anything with it right there oh lord i made that little chain one little let me see can i get my hook in it y'all might have to stretch it out with my needle first I got it right there and now we're going to join with our brown and mine's done got twisted and you flip it there we go join with a slip stitch just pull your blue tight and chain one Tighten it up. And now we're ready for row five. And if y'all ready, I'm ready. Because see, this was the, the repeat was we started with a double. Then at the end, we did a double, single, double. So this is the double, the single, and the double. Forming that box so about out of coffee y'all I got a bell that says ring for coffee but nobody here to bring me none and I ain't gonna take no chances of ringing it cause if somebody was to walk in here with some coffee I'd go out the window <laughs> Because I don't, I don't have access to my weapon. <laughs> now let me show y'all this thing here. Y'all see this? This reaches from way over here to my left to way over here to my right. It's a long mouse pad. Perfect for doing for tutorials. And you got your mouse on one side. I got a mug rug over here that I set my cup on. Yep. This is a mouse pad. Walmart. I can't remember how long it is. I can measure it for y'all right quick. Wow. I have a question, Jean. Do you know who does prayer shawl crochet and knit? Because I would like to get involved in doing that and get involved with my community. I don't know. I know um, Kelly. Kelly's Crochet Adventure does a lot of prayer shawls. I know that. And I also know um, I actually have a couple of prayer shawl crochet books. Um, one of them is pretty old. Too. Um, this mouse pad, y'all, is 31 and a half inches wide or long. I guess it'd be long, but the way I got it on my desk, it's wide. And it is, and you ain't got to worry about it slipping because it's got that grip on the back. Right at 12 inches wide and eight and 30 something inches long. So, since V said, let's dance. Uh, Michael Tank makes a bunch of prayer shawls. She does. She sure does. Tank does. Kelly's Crochet Adventures does. Says V wants to dance, y'all. This for you. This what you made. So you better dance. Yay! 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Sis B says she going in the bucket. She going in the bucket, y'all. In the bucket you went, honey. Yeah. You should be able to, if you and go on YouTube and Google, uh, go on YouTube and Google, go on YouTube and search for crochet prayer shawls or knitted shawls. I think I actually have one of my books right here. Let me grab all these out because this is smaller. Mm. It's a smaller book. Uh, well, it's not a small book. It's a big book, but it's not thick. Um, I even have a scripture Afghan book. Uh, right here. Quick to stitch prayer shawls. And then I know I got another one too. That one I got from uh, the flea market. And I know I have another one too. It might be in my other room back there. But yeah, I do have this one. It's got eight inspirational shawls. Right, you just make a shawl and turn it into a prayer shawl. Just pray. You do a prayer with it. That's basically what you do. If you have specific um, verses in the Bible that you really like, like the, this one has um, different scripture readings in it that you could do. Um, it has Philippians 4, 7, John 13, 34, um, third John, the third John 1, 2, Jeremiah 33, 6, Genesis 2, 24, Psalm 71, 6, and Psalms 23, 4, and Psalms 33, 20. They have one prayer for a friend, prayer for peace. Prayer for healing, for love, for a new life, for a loved one, for comfort, for hope. And then it has the stitch guides in the back. And it also has some little gift tags in the back, too, that you could include with the shawl. You sent me a picture in Facebook. You did. You talking to me, V? Are you talking to somebody else? Oh, Sandrine. Okay. All right. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. That was our sixth single, so this is one, two, three, four. So we're now on row five. And we're going to start out with three singles in a back loop only. So one, two, and three. We're going to work two doubles. One. And two. Then we're going to do one single. And we're going to work two doubles. And we're going to work three singles. One double. Which is going to be right in the middle of your two doubles in the blue. Or whatever color yours is. Then we're going to work three singles. One, two, and three. Two doubles. One, and two. 
one single, two doubles, one and two, and then three singles, one double, three singles, two doubles, one single, two doubles, and we're going to end with three singles and one double right here just like that oh thank you Lori thank you thank you thank you and if you need help just send me a, let me know Lori and I do not mind video calling with you or anything to get you to to, to help you with any of this that's what I'm here for to show you but she said let's dance before she has to go pay bills yay thank you and this is for you Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, if you need help, just let me know. Anyone, that's not just for Lori, that's for anyone. I love to help others. Going in the bucket. And if you happen to win, I'll, I'll notify you. All right. Dancing and cooking, y'all. V, you cooking? What you cooking? I want some. <laughs> All right. So this is our join stitch here in the blue. This is our chain one right here. I'm going to go in that back loop. Try to anyway. And pull that tight. And connect my blue. Maybe my blue needs to be on this side. And it'll probably get turned around again. <laughs> and join with the blue. Pull that brown just a little bit tighter. And chain one. And now we're one, two, three, four, five. Now we're on row six. We're going to do two singles. One. Two. One double. And then we're going to work one, two, three, four, five singles. One, two, three, four, five. One double. And then we're going to work five singles. So it's five singles, one double, five singles, one double all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, double, one, two, three, four, five, double, then one, two three four five double then one two three four five double and we should have three singles left to do and we do one two and three just like that.
and then we're going to join in that chain one and join with a slip stitch with our brown just like that pull that blue a little bit tighter chain one and now we're ready for the next row which is row seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we got five more rows to go <clears throat> let me know when y'all ready some rows work up faster than the other ones everybody working and making this and sandrine dropping links And let me pull this down and over. <laughs> okay, Mama J. So we're going to start in row seven with one single crochet. One double crochet, three single crochets, one double. So this one is three singles, one double, three singles, one double, all the way around. One, two, and three, double. Then one, two, three, double, one, two, three, double, then one, two, three, double, then one, two, three double then one two three my yarn twisted uh oh I hit the camera one two three double one two three double and then we're going to do two singles is what we should have left one and two i'm going to join in that back loop of that chain one pull that brown tight and connect with my blue and chain one just like that and then we'll go to row eight y'all good with me continuing or do i need to wait actually this would fit your cell phone too And you could just keep making the, see, and you could just keep making your pattern to fit your phone. Oh, Tank, that's going to be good. His name is Tank on his papers, but the rescue renamed him Loki low-key because he is a mess <laughs> he 
Yes, Amaya, we're going to actually do three rows of single crochet. Then we're going to do a, um, a, a it's going to be some form of mosaic, but it's not going to be mosaic. So let me keep going, y'all. <clears throat> so for row eight, we're going to do one, start out with a double. Three singles. One double. One single. One double. Three singles. One double. One single. One double. Three singles. So that's the repeat. Three singles, one double, one single, one double, three singles, one double, one single, one double, one single. One double, and that is not right. <laughs> three singles, two and three. One double, one single, one double, three singles, And we should have one double and one single. And then we're going to join. Oh, Lord, I made that real tight. Tighter than I've been making it. Nope. I'm going to get in there. They say if it don't fit, don't force it. But I'm going to force this. Force it, force it, force it. And join with a slip stitch. Not with that color, Jeannie. With your brown. Pull that blue tight. This yarn is so soft. Chain one. And we're moving to row nine. We're going to work three singles, one double, three singles, one double, three singles, one double. So that's the repeat. Three singles. One double, three singles, one double, all the way around, three singles, one double, three singles, one double. Three singles, one double, three singles, one double, three singles. One double. Three singles. And we should have one stitch left after we do the three singles and we will work a double. Just 
just like that. Grab that back loop of that chain one. Grab your other color. And join with a slip stitch. And chain one. Row 10 is going to be starting out with two singles, then a double, then five, then a double, and then five. So after you do your first two and your double, then the repeat is five singles, one double, five singles, one double. Hey, Miguel, welcome in. So good to see you. How are you feeling? Miguel Tank says she tried to watch your video, but it said it was private. So we're going to do two singles. And one double to start out with. Now the repeat is going to be five doubles. I mean, five singles and one double. One, two, three, four, five. Then one double. One, two, three, four, five. One double, then one, two, three, four, five, one double, and then one, two, three, four, five, one double, and we will do three singles to end. So there's one two and three and grab that back loop of that chain one from the start of the row on the blue pull your hook through snug the blue grab your brown and work a slip stitch and if it comes loose just pull the blue tight and then chain one And then we're going to go to row 11. And we're doing two doubles, three singles, one double, three singles, two doubles, chain one, I mean one single, and two doubles for row 11. So we're going to start with the two doubles. So one and two. Then we're going to do three singles, one, two, three, one double, then one, two, three, two doubles, then one single, two doubles, Two, three, one, three, two, one, two. Now three singles. One, two, three, one double. Three singles. Two doubles. one single two doubles three singles one double three singles two doubles and one single crochet and that will complete row 11. 
grab that back loop of that chain one. Drop your brown yarn, pull up your blue, and slip stitch. Now row 12. And the last row of the grouse. So we're going to chain one. And we're going to do one, two, three, four singles. One double, single, double. Then we're going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be the repeat after we do this first part. After we do the this double crochet, it'll be nine singles and then double, single, double. All the way around. Yeah, everybody focused, aren't they? So we're going to do one, two, three, four singles. We're going to do one double. One single, one double. Now we're going to do nine singles. We're going to do one double, nine singles. Uh uh. Nine singles, one double, one single crochet, one double. <laughs> Nine singles. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah. Nine singles. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One double. One single, one double. And we should be left with five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Go in that back loop of the blue. Grab your brown. Pull your blue just a little bit tighter. Chain one. And now we're done with the graph. And if ever, if I need to wait before we do this other part, y'all give me a thumbs up if I need to hold on for a minute. Y'all look at that. See it? And this is the one that I made last night. Putting this together for y'all. See, I did the... I started with the blue and then went did the design in the brown. And in this one, I did the blue. So. Okay, Jen, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. But, Samaya, if you want to move on from this, once you do this last row of the graph, you're going to connect with your other color. Then you're going to work one single crochet in the back loop only around. And then you're going to... um change colors and work another row of single crochets then you're going to change your color and then you're going to work another row of single crochets and you can go ahead and do those and then once we get to the other part i'll show you what to do because we're going to make this part for the the uh the ties to go through oh i'm what i'm waiting tank i'm waiting yeah we can sit here and chit chat while we get caught up and i'll leave that uncovered so people can see the graph if they need to so but yes i i love it so you could do hats the same way um you could actually take this very same graph and make a hat out of it you would just do your chains the multiples of 12. Sisby, I know you're not asking how are my horses. 
I don't have horses anymore. You know I got rid of my horses. Don't ask me that, woman. <laughs> That's a touchy situation. <laughs> yeah. I actually have some here. Now, the only thing you want to make sure of your beads. Now, these here I got from Michael's a long, long time ago. They were on clearance for, I think, $2. And they're all brown beads. But I do have color beads, too. But I don't have none to match that blue. Uh-uh. All them uh, dark. But the only thing I make sure is, is that the bead will fit all the way through my darning needle. And this one does. But I do have some beaters. What's well, called beaters. But I have not been able to find them. And I could have swore they was one was stuck in my cup thing on my cart. But I have not been able to find it. Unless it got caught on something. But I have some extra ones too. You know what happens when you clean up? You can't never find nothing after that. Make sure it didn't fall down in here. Aisha, if you're still here, I am going to um, start working on my hooks tomorrow. My polymer clay hooks tomorrow I still have the one that you the I, I still know which one you wanted so I got to because I'm putting together some packages for my members to get ready to send them out can I see it close up Jeannie see what Can't wait to get that in a giveaway, Jeannie. See what, um, Liz? Yeah, I, I still know which hook you want. I looked at the email the other day. I actually think this one is it. I think. I think this, let me put it underneath this one. I think this one is it. Y'all see all that prettiness? What you want to see close up, Jean, uh, Liz? I have a whole darn box of hooks I got to do. Some I got to sand. Some I just got to sand and put the stuff on them. But I'm working on this tomorrow because I got my hubby taken care of today on the road. So, yes. Y'all want to see a box of goodies? No, Liz, this is yours. And this is the one that I got to resand. I mean, Aisha. Y'all see all them? Y'all going to be receiving some of these in the mail. These are ready. I just got to sand them down. Um, all the ones with the tape on them. And I'm going to wear a mask when I do it so I don't get sick. So all these with the tape on it are ready to be sanded. And um, put the stuff on. And then I'm going to have to tape up the other ones. Y'all see all that prettiness? 
Uh, hey, Miss Debbie, you woke up? Abby, you want to come to Selma and help me out? Come on. Come on to Selma. Come on to the 27. I don't even know what y'all's is. I come to the number three. I could come to three. I think y'all three. <laughs> it won't take me long. Ron says she sent me a picture on Instagram. Let me see what she done sent. Let me see. Kim, I love your colors. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Samaya. You don't even like pink, but the pink and black polka dot one is pretty. Yeah, this is the colors Kim is doing. I'll take care of that right quick. Kim, that looks good. I will, Ronell, but all my members are going to be getting a hook and some goodies. That's why I made so many. <laughs> oh, Veronica, you want me to show these? You want me to show these? Miss Debbie woke up and said, let's dance, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me write your name down. Sandrine, they will be. I got to sand them down and just put the stuff back on them, and they'll be ready. Oh, Ivy, you going to get that yarn, baby. <laughs> And that's you, Miss Debbie. Yep, you're going to get that yarn. You're going to get some of it anyway. I told you, Michaels has the chameleon still for 79 cents. Let me tell you where it's at, at your, at your Michaels in Montgomery. You go down the last yarn aisle, go all the way to the end, and it's to the left at the very bottom. <laughs> yes, Liz, I'm going to show you. This is the bead. Right there. And what I normally do, so I don't have to use like a regular sewing needle, but if I had a beater, if I could find my beater, that would even be better. I make sure that my hook, my, my darning needle hook fits through the bead. Okay. Let me show y'all while we're waiting on everybody to catch up. Um, these are pictures from Veronica. This is some earrings that she made. Gotta be llama related, y'all. Good night, Maribel. I'm, I'm gonna show you your picture. Look at them butterflies. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. This is what she been doing, y'all. Look at the sunflowers. Pretty, pretty. Tank, there's you some sunflower earrings. That's purple and gold. We got any LSU fans in the house? Uh, Liz, these are made out of polymer clay. Oh, these are wood. They're they're shiny though, aren't they? Yeah, these are wood. <laughs> they got like a um like a clear coat on them. Good night, Liz, Jen, VJ, and Carla. And we got some LSU fans in the house. Then look at all of those. And she got the patience for that, y'all. I don't. I can do hooks, but I can't. I can't do all that designing and stuff. I'm not going to say I can't. 
Oh, you don't wear jewelry anymore. Okay. Y'all, look at those mermaid ones right there. Look. You see them? Look. <gasps> Veronica. She holding out on her talent with us, isn't she? I finna say that one's just one, but I see the other one right up there. <laughs> and then here's some more. Ooh, look at those purple lavender ones right up there. I love those. Those are different. And I like those too, right there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, that's all of hers. Ooh, Maribel, that looks so good. Good, good, good. Oh, that's the yarn. I thought she put beads on it, y'all. Y'all see that right there? I thought that was a bead, but that's just like a different color in that yarn just throughout. Maribel, what kind of yarn is that if you're still here? If not, leave a comment. You'll watch the replay to finish it off. Let me know what yarn that is because that is... See, there it is right there. Look. See it? That is gorgeous. And these are the mug rugs that she made from last week. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. And that's Kim's colors. Well, it ain't going to let me play it now. Pooey. Pooey, pooey. But I showed Kim's. Yeah. Okay, Maribel. She says she will finish tomorrow. All right. So, Jen, where are you where, where are you now? Premiere every day, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I. It almost looks like a cotton yarn. I don't know. It's and what makes it even worse, Kim, is if you look at it, which y'all probably can't see it, the yarn is just like regular yarn, and then it goes into like a chain spun where that color effect is at. Can y'all see that? Is what it does. You ready? Okay. So for row 13, we're going to join with your next color, and you're going to work one single crochet all the way around in the back loop only. And we're going to do three rows of singles. So we're going to do um, and change colors at the end of each row. So just one single crochet all the way around in the back loop only. 
and then when you get finished you will join with your other color and work one row of single crochets in the back loop only You'll join in that back loop of your chain one in the color that you are ending with. Uh, Miss Donna Craig, if you're still here, and Tiffany, if you're still here, before I say that, Yes, send me y'all's address in the e to my email. If you are a member and you have not sent me your address, send me your address. All right, we're going to chain one. And we're going to work one single crochet around in the back loop only. And then you'll change your color, uh, work one more row of singles in your next color. When you finish this row, just join the other color and work one more row of singles. Do y'all hear my dog barking? Can y'all hear that? Lisa, you bought the mix and match mosaic pattern yesterday? Well, send me a um, screenshot of the purchase to Yarny Fiber Sisters at Gmail. And I will send you everything that we're doing. It's not too late. Um... He is. He's out back. <laughs> he's outside. It's just, I still have my blind and stuff open. So that's why I asked, could y'all hear him? And then he's got a deep bark. He's a loud. My husband asked me when we got him, was I going to keep him in the house? I said, shoot, no. He'll be done tore everything in the house up. This room wouldn't look like this. You thought the dog was out back of your house? <laughs> yeah, he's got a deep, deep bark. He A vehicle was coming down the road, and he heard it. it. I don't care what it is. A car passing by. Um, He could hear somebody across the road talking. Yes, Mama J. Yes, look. You can get a big bottle of this at Walmart, I know, for like $9. If you buy one of those um, hand sanitizers, uh, listen to me, hand sanitizers. If you buy one, um, air freshener to go in your car, you're going to pay 4 or $5 for it. Um... And you can use, you can, I've actually used some of this in my washer. But you get a lot in one bottle. I'm going to make some of these for my husband to put in his big truck. Yep. It'll be cheaper than buying air fresheners. I have one in, in our closets that I made, but it wasn't this nice. <laughs> it was just like, just, just 
some double crochets and single crochets and stuff like that, but not this nice. And Mama J is the one who gave me this idea after me doing the mosaic from last week to do these little sachets. So thank you, Mama J, for that. I would make one and send them to y'all in the mail, but everybody has sensitivities to smell. So what I like, y'all might not like, or what I like might bother you. Because I'm also sensitive to smells too, so I have to be very particular of what I of what I um I use. So all right, now I'm gonna join my brown and I'm gonna work my last single crochet row. And then we will do the stitch around for the tie string to go in chain one and I'm just going to work one single crochet all the way around one two Ronell says you can go to Marshalls or Ross and buy a sachet pack of three for four bucks. Is that the sachet pack that has like the powder fragrance in it, Ronell? That's kind of like what I was talking about um, earlier that I get. And I only buy it at Kirkland's when it's on sale because, well, Kirkland's is really not all that, all that expensive. It, if you catch their sales they're kind of like hobby lobby you when they do their sales they do sales my husband said no genie that is not correct what is not correct now tank i do like the clean linen smells too that is romantic now i got this lotion and it's called Cotton Touch. And I love the smell of it. The Johnson's Baby Cotton Touch. It smells so good. Veronica, what's your what what Mr. Steele talking about? Now, Mama J says she's gonna put them in her son's and husband's boots. <laughs> We're just doing three rows of single crochet, Jen, for now. I'll wait on you to get to the three because the next one we're going we're gonna to do some doubling, some double crochets. I'm trying to see what V talking about. See, v said we got 82 thumbs up. Okay, Jen is ready. Woohoo! All right, so I finished my third row with my brown. I'm going to join in that back loop of that chain one. No, I'm not. I'm going to slip stitch into that with my blue. All right. Now what we're going to do is a simple repeat. We're going to got to see what I did on this one. We're going to do two doubles, two singles, two doubles all the way around. That's what we're going to do. So do the first two is doubles. So one, two, two singles. 
two doubles and repeat that all the way around one single two singles two doubles this is what we're going to use to put our string through one two and then two doubles just repeat that all the way around two doubles two singles two doubles And you should have two singles left to do when you get to the end. So that's what it should look like. Two doubles, two singles, two doubles, two singles, two doubles. Now, Veronica, I don't even know what you're talking about, honey. I ain't even paying the chat no attention. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm looking at it, but I don't, I didn't got lost somewhere. join to the back loop of the chain one and slip stitch now what we're going to do i'm, I'm eyeing it to see because i want the top yeah that'll be fine once you do this double two doubles two singles two doubles go around with your with your next color with a row of regular single crochets that means working through both loops this time but you're going to join and everything the same way that you was joining earlier only thing different we're going to work one single crochet all the way around in both loops and not the back loop So after you finish your two sing two doubles, two singles, two doubles, join with your next color and work one single crochet in both loops all the way around. And we're going to join in that back loop of that chain one of the brown. And we can go ahead and pull up our blue and tighten it up. But we're going to switch hooks now. And now we're going to go to the three point. And chain one. And in that next stitch, we're going to work five double crochets. And 
We're going to skip one and slip stitch into the next one. We're going to skip one and work five double crochets into the next one. Skip one, slip stitch into the next one. Skip one and work five double crochets. Skip one, slip stitch into the next stitch. Skip a stitch and work five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one, slip stitch into the next one. Skip one and work five double crochets. Skip one, slip stitch into the next one. Skip one and work five double crochets. Do that all the way around. And I was hoping that was just knotted up yarn and not a join. Skip one, slip stitch, skip one, and work five doubles. We're just doing a little shell top. A five double crochet shell edging on the top. Skip one, chain, uh, slip stitch, skip one, and do five doubles. Skip one, slip stitch, skip one, and work five doubles. Slip stitch into the last single crochet. And slip stitch into that last turning chain the, the chain one and you can still do it in the back loop pull it tight chain one cut your yarn pull it up and secure it. now that is that oh i'm gonna take my brown and cut it and I'm going to tie it in a knot because it's going to be on the inside. And then we can weave the ends in later. So this is what the back side looks like. This is where we joined it. Here. But you see it kept the pattern consistent. So, And then this is the front side. Right here. This is what we're going to use to run our string through. So with your 3.75 and the color yarn of your choice, you want to, now I did 60, but we need to do a little more than 60 in order to do a, if you wanted to tie it in a bow, this, the strings are not quite long enough. And I'll show you what I'm talking about unless you did a little bitty bow but then your tassels aren't hanging down the way i would like them to so we're going to do about 80 
So with the color choice of, of your choice, whichever color you want, I'm going to do mine in blue and leave kind of a long tail and you'll see why. A tail about that long. Do I need to wait on anybody, Jen? And chain 80 with your 3.75 hook. Ashley, chain 81 and cut your yarn and leave a leave a pretty good tail on it too. Because when you seal it, when you pull it tight like that, you'll be left with 80. Because that last chain will turn into a knot. <clears throat> and I'm going to set mine to the side for right now. My chain. And remember this part here that wasn't joined. I'm going to take these two, my blue and my brown, and tie a little knot. And secure that like that. Now you could leave it just like that and weave your ends in. Yeah. Is, is closed and it's not going nowhere instead of having to crochet back and forth over so I'm going to take my dar uh, my darning needle if I can get the yarn through there and weave this in and I'm going up where we joined at because it's tight let me flip it out. Because I flip it out to sew my, my bottom up. And flip it inside out. I should have left a little longer blue. Well, I did crochet over my blue yarn for a little while too. So I'm going to go back over that one to kind of loop it around I'm just weaving in and out of stitches but that's pretty tight that's weaved in enough <laughs> now I'm gonna take this my brown and I'm gonna come in through here from the back side and come over to the next one just like that Oh, I came in, I came through this one, just like that, and this just kind of helps pull it together some more, but I mean, it was together with tying the two ends together in knots, and then I came back through here, just like that. And it straightens it up. But we're going to straighten it up when we um, sew it together. And I'm just going to weave this in. In for a little while. 
little ways back and forth and I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna fold it this is my seam and I'm going to fold it with that in the middle. Cut me a strand of brown with a little bit of length, not a lot. So mine is about that long. And I always like to start at a corner. And I pull it up so far and I tie a knot. This is why I do it from the wrong side out. And then I'm just going to go through one loop. And come across. And I'm going to lay that on top. My tail on top so that I can crochet over it sew over it because that's going to secure it down and I'm grabbing this loop here and then the back loop this loop and the back loop and you just do that all the way down and you don't have to do every stitch but I do and you could have slip stitched this too And when I get here, I grab that one and go in that back one. There and there. And don't ask me what this stitch is called that I'm doing because I don't know. I just do what I do. <laughs> and you just, you can pull it so it don't pull. Sorry about that, y'all. Go through those. Now when I get to the corner, I go through. Pull. Pull. And pull that tight and that puts a knot in it. Then I come back and I go alongside there. Weaving the tail in. Just like that. Pull it so it don't pull your, your project through. Go back through that one to kind of loop it around. And just keep weaving. go through there a little bit and just keep going and then I'll go through here and go up through there and pull it and cut it and then flip my bag inside out
and this is what the seam looks like. So you have a nice little seam. All right. I'm just going to stick them inside the bag for right now. So this is my back side where I joined it. And this is the front. Just like that. Now we're going to take our cord that we made. And I'm going to start here in the front with these two. I'm going to put my hook underneath there, grab that tail, and pull it through. And I'm going to go, I'm going to do this all the way around. Just like this. Stick your hook between there. Grab that tail. Pull it through. Go to the next one. Grab your tail. Pull it through. And we can always straighten it up once we get it in to where our chains are flat and the back bumps aren't showing. Just pull it, flip it over, and keep going until you get back to the last two double crochets. Once you get that done, then you pull it through. If it's twisted, untwist it. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter. I just want the chains to be flat, the flat part to be up. So I guess it would just be your personal preference. All right. So once you have that uh, weave through, you want to match them up. Put your hand in there and pull so it don't close. And match them up as much as possible. Just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make... First of all, we're going to put our beads on first. We're going to do like I did last night. And I put the tassels on and had to cut them off and... And redo everything. So if your bead fits through your. If your yarn darning needle fits through your bead. Just put your thread. Your yarn. Your tail. From your chain. On there. Stick your bead on there. And just pull it through. And just bring it up out of your way. And do the next one the same way. Now, these little tricks here that I'm finna show you next comes from Dana from Day's Crochet. We learn little tricks and tips from watching other people, so. All right. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of blue string... Uh, blue string. Jenny, you're working with darn crochet yarn. Woman, why are you keep calling it thread and string and everything else? Alright. We're going to cut about maybe six inches or so of blue. Whatever color you're, you did your chain in. And we're going to take our darning needle. And I do my needle because it's easier to do. If you can do it with your crochet hook, feel free. And right here at the end of this chain, through that first chain, through both of those loops, if I can get it to go through there, 
just go basically what you're doing is going through that back bump but through the top part it's only acting like this because I'm on camera and go through that one just like that and just pull that tail pull that through like this and do that on both of them but I'm gonna move I'm gonna do one at a time because I like to lay mine like this now what you're going to do is take your blue yarn and wrap it around the palm of your hand about 10 times or so ever how big you want your tassel and then you're going to cut it straight down the middle just like that now you might have one piece that's a little bit shorter than the others in there but that's fine too that's my other other one for my other tail now if you want remember these two will become part of your tassel too as well as the the tail so you already have three four five six seven eight we'll do five we're gonna add five to it yes elizabeth that would be You need my email, Miss Donna? Just lay it in there about middle ways. Just iron it to see. You're gonna take this one that we went that we fed through the chain with our darning needle. And you're gonna tie it right there, just like that. Pull it tight and do a knot. It's very important that you put your beads on before you before you do your tassels. If not, um, it's going to you'll have to cut it if you want to add beads to your tassel. Because what we're gonna do is bring this down to here, like that. But we're not done yet. Don't worry about this being longer than the other ones or anything like that. We'll trim that up. Now, you're going to need to cut you another piece of yarn. I, I usually cut mine about like that. What you want to do is make a loop with the yarn on top just like that. And hold it with your finger. And the loop don't have to be big. You're going to place it about right here on your tassel. Let that stay just like that. You're going to take the rest of your yarn and you're going to wrap it around your tassel about five times. That's two, three four and five you're going to take the tail of your yarn you're going to find your loop you're going to stick it through there through your loop just like that now what you're going to do is pull this little short tail see your loop coming in and take your tail and pull them you see everything tightening up and that's how you do the little knot around the tassel that is compliments of Dana from Days Crochet <laughs> and just cut that one off you can now bring your bead down to the top of your tassel if you like that's loose you can you can pull your strings at the bottom 
and tighten them up just like that. And then you bring your bead down and then you just simply lay this out and you cut it to the length that you want and you just throw the excess away and that is that is that that's how that to me that's the easiest way to do a tassel 99 thummies can we get a hundred can we get a hundred so now we're going to finish the other side and we're going to do it the same way i'm going to take my yarn here put it in my darning needle And I'm going to go in that first chain. And put it in there. And just kind of even it out. It, I mean, it don't have to be even. Just like that. And I'm going to get five more pieces of the yarn that I wrapped around my palm and cut. And I'm going to straighten them up, as get them as straight as I can. I'm going to lay them in there like that. I just eye to see are they about the same on each side. Bring this yarn up and tie it in a knot. Tight. Just like that. And then pull this down. Just like that. Now you could, because this is cotton, you could comb that out and have it frizzy. We're going to do another longer piece. We're going to do our loop. I'm going to lay it here. And I'm going to wrap five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Now you can wrap it as many times as you want to. That's my loop. I'm going to take my end. Put it through that loop. Grab my tail here and pull. Just like that. And I'm going to cut that off. You can leave that in there. These are my shortest strands here. And I'm going to cut it to my shortest strands, which is there. And I got the dullest scissors I got, I believe. 
throw my waste away. And I'm going to see. Do they match up? Look at there. One of them's a little bit longer than the other one, I think. You can put them, make sure they match right here and pull them up together. And you can trim them up some more. There we go. We still got the inside ends to weave in, but we can do that off camera. Pull your beads down. Take your organza bag. Take your scent, scent beads. It says in wash scent booster. I wasted mine today, so I better put them in the cook. <laughs> but one good thing they all stayed on my table they did not they didn't go on the floor yes you could definitely put fringe on the bottom you can put as many of these in this little sachet bag that you want i put more than that in mine today so these is getting used so You can fill a little sachet bag up if you want to. And if you want your bees to be stationary on top of your tassel, you can put a little hot glue on there and secure them that way. Thank you, Miss Debbie. You can pull your sachet bag up and close it. I would tie it in a bow, though. I wouldn't tie it in a knot because you want to be able to change it out. So that's what I put in mine right there. And then you just pop it in your little bag. I might have that one too full. I'll end up taking some out. So we have that. And then if you want to close it, you just take these and do them like you would a shoestring. Just like that. Now, if you want this to hang in a closet, you could go from here, from our last, where we joined, you could have carried over from there and did a chain over to this part, part right here, and you would have been able to hang it on a hanger in your closet. So, that's the only thing you have to do. So, that is it. And yes, Tank, you're right. Some fringe on the bottom would be pretty. And I might add some to it. Yep. Do it in the blues and the browns. And then you can tie this in a bow now because you got enough. Enough uh, string to do it with. To tie it in a little small bow. And your... And your bag still... Your tassels still hang down. Oh, Lord, Sunita. Oh, no, 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 no. We got to get that internet back, baby. We can't live without that internet. <laughs> so, yes. And if you wanted to add fringe to the bottom, only thing you would do is if you wanted to do different colors, is just wrap some around the palm of your hand. Cut it. We're going to do, we'll do two blue, two brown. And you just simply take your hook, go in there like that, lay it on top. Pull it through. Try to match them up as much as possible. Mm 
like that and then just pull them until they're tighter and then just do it like that and yep i'm gonna put fringe on this one thank you tank great idea yep so well you'd want to do it the other way that <laughs> that's backwards so do it the other way yes I did romantic, um, my Maria's. It's white tea and peony. It smells really, really good. <laughs> Sunita says if she can't, they can't get it back up, she'll have to go to the office every day. Can't do that. <laughs> I, I feel you on that, Sunita. All right, let me wait before I do that. Ronell says she sent an email. Okay, let's see. Gmail. That's the colors Queen is doing. That is so pretty. Look at that blue and them purples. OMG. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Queen, that hook you using, did that come from Brenda? And this is Ronell's. <gasps> look how pretty. Look at there. Look, look, look. Are them paper beads, Ronell? <laughs> that is so beautiful. Green and white. You can use that for St. Patrick's Day. It is green, y'all. It's not showing green on my on my computer, but it's it's green and white. And Jen said that's mine, silly. That was not yours. Oh yes, it is. That's Jen's. <laughs> my bad, Jen. Yes, that is Jen Marie's. Pretty Jen. Yay. Are those paper beads? Look, Ronell said, that's not mine. Well, Ronell, let me check the other email because I don't, I don't have anything from you just yet. Did you send an email or Instagram, Ronell? Oh, Kim, yours is pretty, too. Look at that. Walmart's where I get mine. Um, Sometimes you can find them at Ollie's cheaper. Look at Kim's, y'all. That is so nice. I had to stop it because when you send it like a video, it, once I watch all of it, I can't. I can't finish. I can't watch it again. So, Kim, when you finish it, make sure to just send me a regular picture of it. Oh, them paper beads. Ronell, did you send it to Love Everything Crochet at Gmail or... um? A little bit of everything said a hundred thumbs. Let's dance. I don't have that. I don't have no 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 dance for that.
you could um elizabeth spray your favorite perfume on it and um put it in your lingerie drawer tank says 101 Woohoo! yeah yeah this is two i've made these are the hmm smells so good and if you put them in front of a fan or something oh well you really don't have to do that because every time i open the closet door in the room um it's it smells and make sure it didn't go to spam i don't know why it would we had this problem last week too ronell Okay. Ivy wants the commands. I will get you the commands, Ivy. I will get you the commands. Let me check spam. No, it's not in spam either. Send it to yarnyfibersisters at gmail.com. I don't know why your emails aren't coming through. on my regular email and you're not getting nothing back saying that it's not coming through <coughs> Sandrine said play the super chat song all right we're gonna play the super chat song for getting over a hundred thummies Veronica you need to do us a video for reaching over a hundred thummies <laughs> Shaky, shaky. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. All right. We fixing to get ready to do the Super Chat Super Sticker giveaway. Hey, I haven't showed y'all nothing about what's, what it's going to be either, have I? It'll be some yarn and some goodies. I'm just mixing them up with my hand. Let me take let me take the other camera off now. There we go. Good night, Miss VJ. Got you, Miss Donna. And y'all, that is, I, I'm showing it underneath the other camera and I didn't turn it off. That is Ivy's. Look how pretty. Yes, Miss Donna, I got it. Still ain't got Ronell's email yet. Let me get off a of Wi-Fi. Maybe it'll come through. All right, we're going to get ready to draw for the Super Chat Super Sticker winner.
And who is the lucky winner? Thank you, Miss Debbie. It is Miss Glenda with Lady G Cobra 2010. Y'all know I don't do the one. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. All right, let's go. Let's see who else is going to win. We'll do two tonight. Let's see who the lucky winner is. And it is none other than Ala Joe. So, congratulations, Miss Glenda with Lady G Cobra and Ala Joe. Y'all won the super chat tonight. And next week, I will be doing my mod giveaway. And then the last Monday of the month, we will do at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will have the uh, members only live and I will do the members only giveaway. And then the last month on Monday, the last Monday of the month, we'll do another Super Chat and Super Sticker giveaway. So, Ronell, I still haven't got that email. What is going on? And I know we've emailed before. I'm finna send you a test email to see do you get it. I I got I got y'all's address already. Yeah, because all of Joe, I sent you something before. It'll take me a minute to find it if it's listed under your government name. <laughs> but I know I got your address. Because you're in... You're over on the coast of Virginia. Norfolk, correct? I sent you a test, Ronell, from the Yarning Fiber Sisters to see do you receive it. It says sent. Good night, Tank. Thank you for being here. Oh, Joe laughing. Mm, yes. <laughs> She's a, we, we load out of Norfolk a lot. When we're up, I got, um, when we're up in that area. When we're in the North Carolina area, over there on the east coast of the Carolinas, because it ain't no freight over there. We have to go up to Norfolk, Virginia and load to get a load. So, my, I got what you sent me of what you have done so far on it. Well, Ala Joe, looks like you're going to have to send me your address.
Yep, just send me your address. Okay, somebody, I got it. It's downloading. Let me connect back to my Wi-Fi. It looks like my phone's doing some updates too. Tell Ola Joe, tell Jeannie to send you one of those books she got from Ollie's. Y'all hear Sandrine give, just giving my stuff away. Give myself away. So you can you. I give myself away. I was trying to find them, Sandrine. Oh. <laughs> this is the book she talking about, Ola Jo. <laughs> Good night, Elizabeth. Thank you for being here. Hey, Melanie, welcome in. This is Samaya. Samaya, that is beautiful. I love those colors and then the beads. Yes. Gorgeous. It is Ola Jo and it costs $2.99. And it's got a lot of nice little stuff in here. It's got a pin cushion you can make. It's got some baskets. Oh, Josie, you know that's your bestie. <laughs> it's got some washcloths. It's got a beaded necklace in it. It's got a rug. It's got some poofs. It's got a chevron pillow. It's got some mobile phone covers. It's got some little coin purses. Look, Isla Joe. That's probably why she's telling me to send it to you. It's got some shawls, some fingerless gloves, some cows some mittens it's got some little girl booties it's got some men's chunky socks some ladies ankle socks it's got a crop sweater it's got a child's hoodie in it And look at this little summer tunic dress. I'm trying to see it fits a child age one to two, two to three, and four to five. So you could definitely make this for your little Kalila. Kalila. And I love her name because we had a um, girl that lived across the road from us. Her name was Kalila. And um, she, um, Samaya, so I got yours. She was 20, how was Kalila? Kalila was 26, I want to say, and got married. Um, her, I got it, Ronell, on Instagram. Okay, Miss Donna, I'll send you an email. Let me switch over to the Yarning Fiber Sisters so I can get Miss Ronell's. Now, 
Now, this is weird. I got the notification that you sent something to the Yarny Fiber Sisters um, Instagram. Okay, it just came through. That is so nice, y'all. She's made the, she's got a picture of the notion pouch, the mug rug, and now the sachet bag. Look. Nice. And that's part of her mosaic blanket in the back back there. That is nice. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, all the ones who have sent pictures that they have done that and those that send after the fact, you will get put in the bucket for the giveaway. Yes. And Ivy posted hers on Instagram. <laughs> Yes, make sure to share it out. I need to do a hashtag, on a Hashtag butterfly. Hashtag butterfly dreams. Y'all give me a hashtag I can do so we can start hashtagging this stuff. But yeah, just email me your address, Ola Jo. And Miss Donna, you've, um, you've sent me yours, so. And then I have, um, I have Miss uh, Glenda's with Lady G Cobra 2010 already. So, and I will get them recorded in my address book. You own it, Ola Joe. I got it. <laughs> yep. I got it. I will get y'all's little packages put together tomorrow in the morning. And I will um, either go to the office and get my scale or nope i won't be able to go to the i won't be able to do that once i get them put together i'll go to the office and weigh them and do it through pirate ship hashtag dreamers hashtag mosaic sachet bag yes i can do a tutorial for it liz and put it on my channel if you want me to I need to do that. I need that. There's a lot I need to do. But after I do the, the giveaways tomorrow and get them in the mail, well, I can do them through Pirate Ship and they can pick them up here. I ain't got to leave my house. After I do that, I'm going to work on some of them hooks Um, because I got to sand them down. Hashtag butterfly. Yeah. We're going to start hashtagging. And next Monday, do y'all want to do a mobile phone cover or do y'all want to do something else? And do y'all want to do mosaic or do y'all want to do something different? Hashtag Butterfly Mosaics 2022. Yep, I really like this. I got to take some of this out of this one though. I overstuffed this bag. <laughs> You can put these in your bathroom, anywhere. And I believe these would be good sellers at a craft fair. Leah says, hashtag doing a genie. <laughs> I like that. And genie ain't been doing no genie, though. I got to get busy on my mosaics. I need eight tentacles. <laughs> what I put it, what I put in it, these little beads right here. Notion bag make a bag. Okay, we can do that. And y'all want to do it in mosaic, or do y'all want to do it just in another stitch? Yeah, 
that'd be plenty. I made that one fat, Olive Joe. <laughs> I want it to kind of lay down flat. Now, there we go. Much better. Makes more of them. Any, okay. Yep. I had to find my transparent thread, too. I know I gave one, one roll, one little um, thing of it to Veronica, and I know I got two, but I don't know where in the world it's at. That's why I went through some stuff today. It's not nowhere over here. Only other place it could be is in one of them drawers over there. So. Uh, of a top, Angela? Mm, I don't think I've got a picture of a top. When did you send it? Let me search by email. The only thing I've gotten from you is your socks, your scarf, and your headband. That's it. So we will take a notion bag next week. Actually, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Mm, I just happen to have one. You can do any size that you want. I'll actually probably be doing one a little bit bigger than this one. And we're going to do a cover fart. Kind of like what we did tonight. Um... We'll put our notion bag inside and then we will connect it to the zipper right up there at the top. Or if you don't want a notion bag to put inside of it and you want to make an actual notion bag, I'll have to see if I can find my zippers if I didn't give all them to chastity. And if I did, that means I'll have to go buy one from Walmart. <laughs> so. Well, ladies, I have enjoyed it tonight. Thank you all so very much. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, Thank you all for sending in all you alls beautiful pictures. Oh. You take a look. Whatever size notion you want. Ronell, and you crochet your little cover for it, and you put your notion bag inside of your cover, and you take the transparent thread, and you open this up, and you your last row of single crochets, you attach it to the zipper part up there with your transparent thread, and you have and it's covered, and you already have your bag on the inside. You don't have to do a zipper and a lining and all that stuff. So, I'll show y'all how to do that next week. Good night, Miss Debbie, and thank you for being here. Thank everybody for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad y'all enjoyed this. I love the pictures that y'all sent. If you do it after the fact, send me pictures because your name will go into a giveaway. Into the bucket. Sandrine said, good morning, everyone. <laughs> good night, everybody. Thank y'all so much for being here. And until, see y'all Thursday at Veronica's at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, Kelly, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um... And then we'll see y'all again Saturday, again in Georgia, for the Yarny Fiber Sisters, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, and 7 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time. 6 Central, 7 Eastern. Good night, everybody. Always be kind. Always be nice. And remember to smile. And always, like Sandrine say, put God first in everything that you do. Good night.